Alam na po natin ang kwento at hindi na siguro kailangan pang ulitin. Pero sa paulit-ulit na narinig natin ang kwento ng Pasko ay parang hindi pa rin tayo nauubusan ng aral tungkol sa Pasko. Ngayon pong year 2020, year ng COVID, anyayahan ko po kayong tingnan ang isang non-living thing na napakahalaga sa kwento ng Pasko. It is the manger. In English, it is manger. And the related word in Spanish and Italian and Latin is manjare. Ang ibig sabihin po ng manjare ay to eat. Ibig sabihin po ng manger ay kainan. Ang tao kumakain sa plato. Ang hayop kumakain sa sabsaban. Sabsab. Kasi walang kutsara tinidor. Hindi nga ginagamit ang kamay. At kahit may paa, hindi gagamitin. Gagamitin lang ang bibig. Gagamitin ang mukha para kumain. What is the manger teaching us about the Christmas story? Three things. Una, the manger is always dirty. Natiti ako na nilinis naman ni Saint Joseph. Natiti ako na hindi naman papayagan ng mahal na birhen na ilagay yung kanyang bagong panganak na sanggol sa isang maruming sabsaban. Siguro nilinis-linis ng konte, pero walang alcohol, walang Clorox. Walang disinfectant. Pagpag lang siguro, baka wala pang tubig. Siguradong may virus, siguradong may bakterya, siguradong may germs. It was a dirty manger. It is important to remember that the manger is dirty because after the immaculate womb of the Virgin Mary, the Christ child was first laid on a dirty manger. He came recognizing our dirt. He did not come for the clean. He did not come for the holy. He did not come for the strong. He came for the weak. He came for the dirty. He came for, he came for those who are sinners. He came for those who are walking in the valley of darkness. The manger was dirty. And who else? All of us. All of us are dirty. We can disinfect with alcohol. We can disinfect the air with disinfectants. But only God can cleanse us from sin. Not alcohol. Not the Department of Health. Only God can make us clean again inside. And God comes recognizing that we are dirty, not staying away from us. Hindi nandidire. Hindi umiiwas. In fact, lapit na lapit. Walang distancing. Niyakap niya yung dumi ng sabsaban. The manger is all of us. Because as the, as the manger is dirty, so are we. Second word. It was destiny. When Isaiah foretold that a child will be born, when Amos and Micah prophesied that the child will be born, God already knew that he will be laid in a manger. It was not an accident. It was not just necessity, although sabi ng gospel kagabi, because there was no place, they laid him in a manger. It was my destiny. You know why? Because the manger was also a prophecy. What is the prophecy of the manger? That from here on, yung taong Diyos na inilagay sa sabsaban, 
Yun ang kakainin ng mga tao na nag-aasal hayop. Sino yun? Tayo. The manger is not there in the nativity scene. The manger is now here on the altar. The altar is now the new manger because Christ from heaven will come down to earth and He will become our food and drink. And who will eat from the altar? Human beings He wants to save. Human beings who, who act like animals. Human beings who forget their dignity as human beings. That is who we are. It is destiny, my dear brothers and sisters, and it is predestiny. When Isaiah and the prophets foretold that the child will be born, they said he will be born in a manger. And now, the new manger is the altar. And now, the new animals in the stable are us. We do not deserve humane treatment because we treat one another like animals, like beasts. But in spite of our beastly behavior, God comes to us like the food in the manger and allows himself to be eaten by all of us. So, it is destiny. And the last word is disciple. When God, Jesus Christ, called men, follow me, he also told them, the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Wala akong bahay, wala akong kama, wala akong unan. Are you willing to follow me? It is a difficult life, but that is the task, the mission, the calling of every disciple. And disciple is not just Father Bong and me. Disciple is all of us. Wala tayong sariling unan. Hiram lang yan. Wala tayong sariling bahay, kama, bubong. Hiram lang yan. Kung talagang sa'yo yan, pwede mo bang dalhin sa sementeryo yan? Kung talagang sa'yo yung bahay mo, pag namatay ka, pag aawa na yan ng mga magmamana sa'yo. Kahit yung unan, embalsamador na ang maglalagay, hindi mo kayang dalhin. We have nothing. And when we leave this world, we carry nothing. And that is the mission of the disciple. To be nothing so that we can be something for the Lord. Three words to teach us. The dirty manger, that is us. The manger destined to contain the food for beasts for human beings who do not live up to their dignity. That is the Eucharist for us. And we are those beasts eating the body of the Lord and drinking His blood. And my dear brothers and sisters, when He allowed Himself to lay in the manger, He was already telling all of us, You want to be my disciple? You will not even have a pillow to lay your head. I will be your pillow. You will not have a bed to lay your head. You can rest in me. You will not have a roof over your home. I will be your protection. You cannot even stand on one ground and claim it as your own. And I will be your holy ground. You can stand on me. Brothers and sisters, the Virgin Mary has a lesson. St. Joseph has a lesson. The wise men and the shepherds have lessons. But the manger has a lesson. Because the manger is us.